Well, speaking of snooping, if you came across a lost smartphone, how much would you look through it? Maybe you'd scroll through the contact list or even look at the Facebook app to find the owner. But a new social experiment marketing stunt suggests our curiosity may take us further. Chris Brown has that. Canadians, it seems, are very curious about what's on other people's smartphones. Software security firm Symantec designed an intriguing social experiment, planting 60 phones in public places, such as malls and bus stops, in six Canadian cities. In 55% of cases, those finding the apparently lost phones contacted the owners, but not before doing some snooping. Even when that Good Samaritan was calling to return the phone, they were still looking through the phone for all kinds of things like pictures, personal emails, social networking accounts, passwords. In Toronto, people seemed especially nosy about other people's salaries, with 60% accessing apps they found to do with human resources. In Ottawa, 80% who found the phones snooped on any personal social networking pages they could access. And in Calgary, one phone was tracked for four days as the finder travelled the city looking up banking information, personal passwords and other private stuff. So that's one thing that uh, the study's shown us, that when you lose your phone, there's a very high potential that somebody will go through your personal information and make, uh, make use of that information for bad purposes. The company that sponsored this study is in the smartphone security business, so naturally it has an interest in selling people apps that say lock a phone and then wipe its memory remotely. Still, the takeaway from all this seems to be those kind of precautions are a wise idea. Canada's wireless providers are also encouraging people to learn their phone's identification number and report it to a new database of missing phones. Our objective with this database is to make stolen phones less attractive to thieves and to the black market, basically. Of the 60 phones Symantec planted across Canada, 33 of them were returned. But it seems Vancouver is definitely not the place to misplace your phone. Just three of the 10 bait phones placed here were returned. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.